I was like, every inch I move in this room, something else spawns. What the? Sorry, I wasn't looking in that direction. Can you do that again? Oh. I think that motherfucker is spawning people. Yes, I killed the guy that spawns people. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. Doesn't sound good. Interesting. I don't know. You surprised me. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back to see if there's something physiological that would be a weakness, a way to stop them. I found nothing so far. Haven't had enough time. I'm gonna stay here and keep looking. And the bullets kill him. There are combat supplies in the storage cabinet in the next room. The code is 624. 624. Let's do 624. Yes, BFG ammo. 624. Yes, yes indeed. I'm gonna stay here and keep working. I'll upload my findings into the database. Look, I can't go with you. This is too important for me to leave. You should get out of here. Get some help and tell them I'm still down here. Sure thing, Doc. How do I get out? <laughs> How do I get out? Well, oh, I see the barricade.
Oh, it's the one of those revenants. Uh, gotta get up there somehow. This is gonna keep spawning people. Shit. Oh, there's actually gonna open the door. Sweet. And go go through that door before you. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility oh. was constructed to house and study the extra dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms mm. with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which has complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method yeah. by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the moment. Which one is this one? Oh. I don't know if they actually in introduced this one yet. This one, I think it was just the people. This one is the imps. And I think. Yep, and there's the revenants. How'd they capture them? On an alternate path to that. Alright. Oh, it looks like there's a lift. Wait. Service hatch. Ah. No, no, God, no, no, God. Ah, ah. I don't think there's any way to save him. <laughs> Jacob's. Whatever his face is. Chicken. Transfer control to 371. Hmm. Storage locker. So it's 371. So there should be a storage locker here that I could use. Very good. to give me light.
Uh, I guess that light would have been in handy. Uh. Ooh, is this one? What was it again? It was. Is this the one I need to use 371 on? Yes, I was. Mm-hmm. Ah, so there it is. No. Ah. Okay, yes. One second, I am not ready for that. Being downloaded. Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known yeah. about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which has complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. Is it is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, in as was demonstrated <laughs> during the first expedition through the porches of unearthed evidence of okay. lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by Yuan's strange characteristics. Efforts to further examine Yuan have been futile. Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. Hmm. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning you one. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research, we can one day soon learn to exploit the technology. Exploit. That's the word they use. Exploit. And it looks like the artifact is not there. Here I could do. Oh, there's a PDA from this Larry dude, Larry Bullman. Uh, this is the audio log of research Soul director Cube. Larry Bullman, October nineteenth, twenty one forty five. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. 
Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts... If you fart in space, would it make you move forward? If you're able to fart in space, then probably. But I don't think it's physically to be able to do so, because you'll probably be dead before that happens. Indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I've only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates that there was some... Now, if you're talking about, like, farting in a spacesuit, will it make you move and, like, move forward? It won't. <laughs> nope. So you've been power, hell, and you, know, you will never find me. Any reaction from the fuse and the energy scaling, scanning, operation, or other testing, or picking it up at an existing level. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paper. Yeah, if you're able to let out a fart in space, then there's a possibility of you getting inertia. But it would only it would be very slight inertia though. But it's inertia nonetheless. Oh, that's a good question though. <laughs> Not a dumb question, it's a good question. It's like, yeah, it's a weird question, but it, it makes sense. Storage area seven, seven two five. Oh, and there's another code. Okay, so I gotta find these uh, storage lockers eventually. the code for this now oh storage locker 666 i wonder if the code is 777 no oh, no wait the storage is right and it's right on the locker 372 oops oh god there's a demon inside it <laughs> i should have known should have known it's not even a storage locker a relic codename you want. Force okay, so I went backwards accidentally, so I won't do that again. Um, storage, oh yeah, storage area 7. I think I have the code for that. Storage area... This is a level three access for oh, storage area seven, seven, two, five, seven, two. Okay. And then I have the other code. This is, oh, the Martian buddy thing. I'm guessing it's going to be here, too. Four, six, three, maybe? Oh. Are all the Martian buddy stuff the same code, by the way? <laughs> I'm kind of wondering. So this is the Elliot Swan thing. It's not this one. 
So where's Martian Buddy? Let's see. And Boston. I will not mention his name. Um, so it's not that one. It's not that one. Well, it could be another code from something else. I don't think he had any codes, did he? I don't think he had any codes. Three seven one, maybe. Could be three seven one. I'll double check. Three seven. I don't know. Maybe there's a PDA somewhere. I just want to know what's in there. Because it's a Martian... It's a Martian buddy thing. Restriction. It's in... The thing is... Code is... No, not that one. I wonder if it's the same thing as the door, though. 725. Nope. Hmm. Not sure yet. Maybe the code's in this room. Unless I already... I think I already searched this room. Yeah, I already searched it. So maybe not that room. Can I go through level... Oh, okay. Level 3 access, which I... Th should be this... Under here. Dang it. Level 3 access is 463. Yep. Four, six. Wow. Whatever the hell happened in this room? Oh, he's a revenant. That's why. That's why it took forever to die. And I think those are revenants. Or maybe not revenants. I forgot what you call them. The summoning motherfuckers. So they weren't in Doom 2016, but I think they were in Doom Eternal. And they brought them back. <laughs> and I, I kind of hate them. <laughs> Well, that motherfucker hit like a fucking truck, though. You know, took, almost took my health in half. You don't want him hitting you. Oh my god, that was a long, that was a long area. Oof, man. Do 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 do. I've been streaming for like six, almost six and a half hours.